Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a push notification system for your blogger website. So first of all, let me explain to you what is a push notification. This is our website and whenever you have push notification enabled for your website, then if someone visits your website, then they'll get a pop-up on the screen right here and uh, they'll be asked to allow or don't allow the notifications of your website. And if the visitor decides to allow it, then the visitor will become a subscriber of your website and uh, you can then send a notification of your post whenever you have a new post in your website and it will appear on their device and uh, so in this way you can bring your visitors back to your website whenever you have a new content for your website so in this video i'll show you how to create a push notification service for our blogger website so let's get started <laughs> There are different services that offer push notification for your website but the one we'll be using in this video is called OneSignal. So just go to this website onesignal.com and uh, here we can see that this is the official website of OneSignal and if you scroll down we can see that uh, these developers trust this service and uh, then if you scroll down more we can see we have different services like mobile push where you can send notification to the visitor's mobile device and then we have web push where you can send notifications to your visitor's web browser and then you also have in-app notifications, email and SMS and if you scroll down we can see we have a lot of different features that is there in the service so you can go ahead and check this out so here we can see that it supports a lot of different uh, web development environments and the good thing is that it has a free version for getting started with one signal so if you go to pricing we can see there is a free version and uh, it has some limitations but uh, you can get started with the free version and as your website grows you can upgrade to different plans of uh, one signal so just go ahead and read through these different features and you'll be able to understand the difference so now the first thing you have to do is register on one signal so go to sign up and enter these details and click on create account or you can even uh, log in using github google or facebook all right once you're done that you'll get this screen over here which says welcome to one signal and the first thing you have to do is you have to add your app or website over here so we do have a website so let's go to our website and uh, let's copy the url liveblogger123.blogspot.com and uh, first of all we have to name the website so i'll just name it live blogger and then here we have the different platforms you wish to use this app for so we'll just click on web push and then click on next so the first one is typical site so for typical websites select this if you are unsure but uh, we have a blogger website so you can go ahead and click on the second option and here you can see different website builder and CMS are displayed over here we want to select blogger so click on blogger All right, once you've done that just scroll down and we can see different uh, options we have to fill out so the first thing is the site name we'll just type live blogger and then we have the site URL so we have copied the URL I'll just paste it over here and uh, then we also have the option of adding an icon to all the notifications so let me just click on upload and I'll just add an icon over here so I have just uploaded this icon and I'll just click on save and the upload is complete so whenever we have a notification this icon will be displayed and the next thing is that we have to choose a label so this should be a unique label so let me just check whether we have live blogger available we'll know after we click on submit so the next thing is the prompt so the first one we have over here is the slide prompt this is how it will look it will slide from the top and uh, we will have two options allow and no thanks and you can go ahead and customize whatever you have over here the text and all those things so just click on this button and uh, here we have the option of changing the text so you can add anything over here like if you want to get notifications about our new blog posts please click on allow so we can see that the text is being displayed over here or you can just delete this and leave it as it is 
so this is the default text and then we have the buttons over here as well you can uh, change this to whatever you want for the cancel button you can uh, add it as don't allow in the same way you can change the text of the accept button and the next option is that when should our prompt be displayed so by default it is set to after one page view and after 20 seconds so we can change these values over here I'll just change it to 10 seconds so whenever someone visits our website for the first time and after 10 seconds the visitor will have a prompt on their screen and we also have an option of adding categories so you can add different categories and uh, put different subscribers on different categories and in this way you can send dedicated notifications to different categories I'll just disable that we'll just keep one category for everyone and then here is the preview this is the desktop version and uh, this is the mobile version it will uh, slide in from the bottom all right so let's click on done and then we can also add other prompts like uh, here we can see we have a subscription bell over here so this is how it will look the visitor can just click on this and uh, he'll be subscribed to your website in the same way you can go ahead and change the options over here and uh, we have other options like custom link and uh, native prompt so these are all the different options for our website this is not recommended because uh, a lot of people uh, deny this uh, notification so I'll just go ahead and close this one this is the recommended one so I'll just keep that and uh, then here we have other options like uh, what should be displayed when the user subscribes for our service so this is the title we can just type anything over here and uh, also for the message you can just have any message over here by default it has thanks for subscribing and you can also add a link over here whenever the visitor has subscribed you can send him to a specific link if you want I'll just uh, disable that and then let's scroll down and let's see what are the other options we have these are some advanced options so I'll just leave them as it is and then lastly we have the save button let's click on that and uh, our settings have been saved the next thing is that we have to add this code to our uh, blogger website so just click on copy code and go to the blogger dashboard and uh, then go to theme then click on this arrow and uh, click on edit HTML and uh, you have to paste it inside the head section so we can see it should be pasted inside the head section so this is the head section of our website let's go ahead and uh, paste the code right here and then just click on save so our code has been saved and that's basically it with the push notification let's click on finish and uh, now let's go over here to our website and uh, let's refresh our page and uh, let's wait 10 seconds and see whether we get the notification and here we can see we have the notification and we have the logo over here as well we have all the text and everything just as we set up and we have the option of don't allow and allow let's click on allow and I'll just click on allow over here and we have this message live blogger thanks for subscribing and uh, that's basically it we can see that we have subscribed to this website now we can go ahead and send notifications to our uh, subscribers so let's go back to the dashboard and here we can see that we have selected the live blogger app you can add different apps over here and you have to select the right app and now to send a new notification you can click on uh, this new push button and uh, here we can see different options we have the option of sending to particular segments but we don't have any particular segments we'll send it to all the subscribers right now we just have only one subscriber so so here we can fill in these details for the message so the title will be new post by live blogger so in the message you will just type something you'll just type tips on web development and then you can add an image to your post and uh, then you can add the link of your post over here so you can just go ahead and create a new post and then get the link of that post and uh, paste it over here so I'll just go ahead and uh, copy this link from here so where's the link I think this is the link I'll just right click and copy link address and paste it over here 
right now here we can see the different previews how it will look on a mac and this is how it will look on a windows device it will have this uh, native notification and uh, this is how it will look on android devices so let's go ahead and uh, click on platform settings we have a lot of options over here we can select the icon the image and uh, all those things so on the right we can see what will be changed you can just go ahead and experiment with these we can have for different browsers for edge for mozilla firefox for that you have different option so here we can add icon specifically for firefox and then we have the schedule right now it is set to begin sending immediately so once we click on confirm it will be sent or you can just set a particular time so set the time over here and it will be sent but i'll just select begin sending immediately and i'll just click on confirm and confirm before sending we have uh, the included segments subscribed users we have one recipient the title is this and uh, the contents is this the platforms are google chrome firefox and edge and uh, send it right away and this is a link so let's click on send message and we can see the notification is being displayed over here let's click on that and uh, our page is opened on the browser so this is basically how you send push notifications to your subscribers so that's basically it for this video i hope that this video was useful for you and uh, it is a really important thing to add push notifications to your websites because once the visitor visits your website it can be possible that uh, he or she will forget the website and uh, visit it no more so if someone is interested in your website it is your job to keep them hooked to your website so you can just let them subscribe to you by the push notification and then you can occasionally send push notifications of your post so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day